Hello friends out in YouTube land, it's Asemba here for a TikTok talk. Today I have a very special tea. I, I have entitled it in my brain, the princess tea, because it came in such a beautiful container. My mother-in-law went to um, Buckingham Palace and she went to like, London and she went to all these really cool places. And she brought me back some tea and it's such a beautiful container. And so I'm going to be drinking it. Oh, it smells so good. Hope you guys... Take out your tea and join me. Guess what time it is? Tea time with us and love Tea time with us Tea time. While I was recording this tea time talk, I was actually streaming it. And if you guys have not been to one of my streams before, I actually will stream some of my videos and I'll make like an extended version and then like the cut version. My extended versions like sometimes are like an hour or more. But it's really fun because I get to see a lot of people and I get to read their comments and it's really awesome to get to interact with people. And I wanted to do a shout out to the first 10 people that came into the uh, chat room area thingy for my thing. So, shout out to the following people. Lame Little Lovely, Sam I, Hawaii Poa, Ravika Art, Aspe Lion, Ken Kola, Bro759, R, Ellie Usagi, Dolly Confessional, and C. Resley. Shout out to your peeps! They came and were like the first 10 there. I am so awesomely pleased that you came to join me for my streaming session. It is always a blast because I get to just do random things in the streaming session that I don't normally include in all of my videos, I uh, usually edit it down. You can catch me on my Facebook page, which, selfish plug, um, I do a lot of stuff on the Facebook now that I got rid of my website. I used to have a website called resinreality.com, and I really wasn't utilizing it very much, so I kind of got rid of it. I utilize Facebook a lot more now, so a lot of my things that I do, little updates, little events that are going on, blah 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 blah, I usually will promote them to my Facebook page now. Um, so if you haven't checked it out, you're more than welcome to go check it out. I do actually post exclusive videos there too, I'll do like sneak peek videos that I don't post on YouTube, and I'll post them on my Facebook page only. So Recently, I went to YouTube Creator Day which was a really cool, I think, special event that YouTube was beta -ing. And basically you got like an invite and you went. It was really fun. I met a lot of really awesome, fun people. And I'm gonna go ahead and link the people that I actually like physically got to talk to uh, down below. I'm gonna link their YouTube channels. You should definitely check them out. And it was just amazing to see the amount of people that just did different things on YouTube and it was really cool to see that and t to see that like you know here I am in my little world with BJDs but then there was like a vast amount of other just random niche like YouTube channels out there. I'm gonna give a shout out to Texas Candy she was one of the people I was talking with. Her channel is on Lotto Tickets which I thought was really cool because I didn't even know that existed it was so neat and of course I met a lot of other people too that had like comedy sketch channels and like funny little you know videos that they put together like I met a couple people that did like animations so if you're curious and you want to see some of those like I said please go ahead and look at the links down below um, I have already gone to their channels to go check them out and it was just it's amazing to see their stuff um, Oh, there's another really cool couple that I met, and um, she does meditation videos, so I'm going to link her channel there too, and I swear, when I start teaching again in August, I'm probably going to pull up one of her videos. Her voice is like so calming, and I'm just like, yes, yes. So yes, please go check her out too, um, that would be pretty amazing and awesome. So, so here's some clips from YouTube Creator Day. It is a windy day in Austin. And here we are at the Google building for YouTube Creator Day. I have never been to YouTube Creator Day. I'm very nervous. Sophie and I are here. And uh, we'll see what happens today. Maybe I will learn a lot of things. Maybe I'll be. You just. <laughs> so here we are in the conference room. 
And there's these cute little things. Look at all the cute little things I get to take home. I brought a chair for Sophie, so I'm gonna put her in the chair on the floor, I guess. So I'm gonna go get in line now for lunch because the line was tremendously long. It is still somewhat long of a line, but it shall be worth it for the food. I will further enjoy eating while I am vlogging. There's a lot of people here, as you can probably hear and tell from I hope Sophie's okay by herself on the chair. I left her alone, but I'm pretty sure people are gonna be. <laughs> Hi! How, how are you? What's your name? In Gazi, in Gazi TV. What you do? Um, what don't I do? You know what I mean? Sketch comedy! Yeah! Woo! She's been hilarious. She's been asking questions. You're the ones asking questions. Like, this, you're like I'm that crazy mom at your school <laughs> that's like asking questions about everything. on her channel it's so awesome we were talking about how I should have a naked doll yes and with an apron doll. on and she can be cooking just like Ruby does yes. yeah yay bye. bye and that was my experience at YouTube creator day for this year um, I would like to do at least a meetup of some sort because it also coincides with my 2016 goals which by the way guys, I've been kind of doing good at it I think I've had a video at least every month I've done some BJD events, like I'm doing like the streaming right now, which is something that I told myself I would do more often. And the one thing I have not worked on yet is completing one of my goals. But, 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 I am thinking about doing it. <laughs> thinking about it versus doing it is actually a lot different though. Because it's like, I get money in and I'm in so many stupid hobbies that I'm just like, do I buy manga? Do I buy Lolita stuff? Do I buy makeup? Do I buy anime things? Do I buy doll stuff? What do I do? God, I wear clothes for myself. I like shopping too, so it's, it's a really dangerous world I live in, so it's really hard for me to decipher what I want to do with my money. But hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping with the next budget amount of money that I get, um, that I'll buy doll things. I, I have been looking at Alice's collection, so that's really dangerous. I played the shopping cart game. Raise your hand if you played the shopping cart game where you put things in a shopping cart you don't buy them, but you look at it. Before I let you guys go, I did wanna put out a poll question to you all because I am, I, I did learn a lot at YouTube Creator Day and I, one of the things that I took away from it was that I really need to work on my video scheduling. I was really good, like I said um, in one of my other videos, I think it was in the 2016 goal video, I was like really good at putting out videos. I was doing them like maybe two videos, maybe even three videos a week sometimes. And now it's kind of like died off. Like I'll do it me like maybe once every three months or something. Or like, oh, like got a review, let me go do it right now. And then like that'd be the only video I would have. What would be good? What do you all think? Um, what I'm looking more for is when. I would like to try to start off as a goal doing one video a week. I've already, actually I've already started it. I did a video for the past two weeks, two, three weeks I've done a video. And I just kind of want to know what's a good day. Like, because I know a lot of YouTubers out there are like, I put out new videos every Wednesday, check me out. Like, I don't know what you guys want. Like, what's a good day for you? So in the poll, which will be up here somewhere, the little circle with the... Tell me what day you think would be a good day to post out a video. Something for you to be like, oh great, it's, I don't know, like BJD Monday. I don't know, I can't, I can't tell you guys right now. I can't, I'm not, my brain's not thinking about it right now. Tell me what day of the week you think would be really good for me to shoot out these videos. And that way you kind of have something you know that I'm going to have something for you guys to watch, um, whether it be like a tea time talk or a review or a silly video, which by the way, I am gonna be working on a silly video very soon. That way you guys know, you know, that I'm not dead. <laughs> that I didn't disappear for three months and that's what happened. Because I feel like that's what happened. I was like, I disappeared for a long time and I just came back and I was like, hey guys! Like, so I wanna make sure I kinda keep um, consistent and do videos for y'all. I started off this channel just for fun and I still think of it just for fun. Like, it, it's it's fun. Like, I really like it. I like editing videos. I like making the funny, silly videos. Like, I really want to make another one. I already started 
brainstorming for it. Um, uh, what did I just watch? And a parody music video that's coming up. So I just like doing it for fun. And it really, honestly, uh, warms my heart that people actually take the time to watch it. So I, I mean, if you guys continue to like it and you guys continue to, you know, really want to see it, I'm going to keep doing it, you know, so it's, it's just really fun. So let me know what day of the week would be a good day of the week, you think. I heard also in the in the event thingy that it's good to have a specific time to push out a video. Maybe in the comment section down below, you can kind of tell me what you like, like when you hop onto YouTube, like, it, is it like more in the morning, is it midday, or is it like afternoon? You guys can let me know that, like if it's... I like to watch videos in the morning, or I like to watch videos in the midday, or in the afternoon. Which I guess afternoon is also kind of like nighttime. Let me know that too. I really honestly, I, like I said, I learned a lot, but and I feel like I haven't been doing a lot of stuff that I probably should be doing to make my channel like run smoother. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this tea time talk, and I hope to hear from you guys very soon um, in the comment section and in the poll. As always, I hope you guys have a fantastic, dolly, wonderful, super delicious day. And I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye! Right as I press record. Woo! There it is. Well, I called it, guys. I was like, why am I even gonna start? Y'all want some pound cake? Cause I got pound cake for days. Yo, kid, wanna buy some pound cake? Hi. Hello, everybody. I am a Senva. I'm here drinking tea time time talk to drink Earl Grey tea. Sponsored by my lactate stomach intolerant Milk intolerant lactose freeness. Well, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this episode as I show you guys how to do a face up on a person. Well, first off, you need Super Mr. Clear and you spray it all over the face. Make sure to wear a mask so that you don't get that toxic stuff on your face. But it's okay for the other person because you're going to be giving them a beautiful. Face up! Nah, 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 nah! Well guys, I will go ahead and start since this camera has been rolling this whole time and it got all that wonderful stuff that happened. So this will be in the bloopers reel with my husband coming in saying yeah, 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 yeah. I was like nah, nah, nah. Oh my bad, yeah, nah, 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 nah.